What is up guys? Hope you guys are doing okay today. So in this vlog, we'll be uh, replacing our, our airlift Formance 3 P3H manifold with the brand new airlift NPT manifold. The reason why I got the NPT manifold is that it's to me I think it's more easier to uh, service instead of you know replacing the whole manifold with the NPTs you could just replace the fitting that could be an easy maintenance item cost very very cheap fitting with my manifold massively leaking the tank port side so I have to go get that fixed ASAP. It's been leaking for a long time. Straightforward vlog. Removing the old manifold and replacing it with a new one. Adding in the NPT fitting and calibration and etc. etc. Alright man. Let's go. Yee! I'll show you guys how bad this leak is. Like every time I turn on the car, the compressors will just keep going on until it fills it up. See that? Low PSI right there. On here it says tank too low. You can hear the compression going on. I'll show you guys the the leak in the manifold. Here's the tank set up here. Manifold, compressors, air tank, compressors in there air trap so to uh, easily diagnose your leaks in your system easy as getting soapy water in a spray bottle and you can just spray it on your um, your fittings before you start on working on your, your air management your air tank or any the airline system always go ahead and empty out your air tank before it just explodes in your face and right here we have the new airlift manifold feels good in the hands some good parts right here but here are the main difference these ports here it's not your, your typical push to connect it's actually a npt fittings these fittings are made with these resin connector with your airlines so right now i'm just gonna go label my airlines here just so that i know which uh, airlines to connect it back into the new manifold I haven't like touched these for a while. Oh my god, that was a freaking the installer of my my system. Double-sided the uh, manifold onto the mountain bracket. Pry tools. Like, when I got it off though. I just realized there's still air in the, the airbag struts. I almost just poof in my face. Air out of the system completely unplug these uh, fittings oh success so now i have the old manifold all mounted off the mounting bracket the mounting setup now let's go ahead and compare everything I mean, it's all the same the main difference is the push to connect fittings here npt fitting whatever fitting you want to use the push to fitting um tends to leak the awesome warranty of airlift system is so great that they're gonna replace my manifold just like that if you guys are considering any uh, management system i highly recommend airlift with their awesome warranty i had this system like well over five years now and they're gonna take it back i'm gonna get a replacement so let's go ahead and install the npt fittings and the new bad before installing the npt fittings i'm gonna show you guys how these fittings here work there's a um a tightening screw here they call this a, a resin it's gonna crimp onto the, the hose. You just put your airlines, and then once you tighten in this bad boy, crimping the, the resin onto your airline so that it doesn't prevent any leak. You see this guy, look, I can't even take it off now. Yeah. Now I just have it finger tight here. It's getting very snug now. We got everything all fitted in. Let's go ahead and uh, reattach the airlines. Oh. Don't forget this guy. It's very important here. And here, let's do the same process. That car life though. Final, uh, it's bonding the harness back into the manifold. Fire up this bad boy and uh, check if there's no leak. Crossing my fingers on that one. All right, let's go start it off. Um, everything looks okay. It's filling up very nicely here. 70, 80. So after all of that, we got the new manifold all calibrated successfully. There's no leaks. So right now I'm gonna take you guys along with the ride. Still riding at 150. The system is doesn't show any signs of leaking. It's 
should be steady all the way through. So right now we were just uh, doing at 150. With, with the height sensors, you know, it's a more elaborate process, you know, just getting mounting points, tying it into your um, suspension arms, more, more elaborate. I like it a lot better than pressure, so highly recommend getting the um, height sensors with your uh, airlift performance setup. Still hold it at 150 PSI. Just pull in right here. There wasn't even like aired out portion. Could go lower actually. Overall, the installation was great. No leaks in the system, so I was concerned about that. If you guys are considering uh, getting the airlift management, highly recommend getting the NPT a manifold instead of their um, the traditional push to connect. More serviceable at that way. But yeah, straightforward installation. Uh, exchanging it out. I'm gonna go um, package up the manifold and send it back to airlift and get a replacement. And we'll go ahead and package this bad boy up. Send it off to it. Rag rat is bye bye manifold. You've been so good to me. And just like that, we'll ship it out. Five days later. Ooh, package. from bag riders nice oh my gosh so i finally got the replacement from bag riders shout out to brendan he helped me a lot throughout the warranty process if you guys haven't already go check out bag riders they helped me out with my setup Highly recommend their shop. Go ahead and check it out. I'll put a link down below in the description box. So the installation was straightforward. I had a leak in the Airlift Performance 3P management system. I replaced it with the brand new Airlift NPT manifold. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the install. Pretty straightforward. Well, that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more vlogs. He ha! Out! All right guys, that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it. And don't forget guys to make sure you guys hit that like button. Take the time to comment and subscribe.